Nail complaints are common and can include traumatic, infective, neoplastic, or systemic causes. Here are three conditions you cannot afford to miss. 1. Carcinoma of the nail bed should always be considered. Squamous cell carcinoma is the most common malignant tumor of the nail, while melanoma is rare. For squamous cell carcinoma, think of a history of trauma, radiation exposure, or infection with human papillomavirus, or HPV. Melanoma, however, typically presents as a black to brown longitudinal line, also called a longitudinal melanonychia. Longitudinal melanonychias are generally benign, but if elements in the history raise concern for melanoma, further evaluation is needed. Think of the mnemonic ABCDEF. A is for age, peaking from 5th to 7th decade. B is for border and black. C is for change in the band, either color or size. D is for digit involvement, with thumb and index digit most likely. E is for extension of pigment into the proximal or lateral nail fold, and F is for family history. If carcinoma is suspected, an urgent referral for biopsy is needed. It is important to be vigilant, since a delay in diagnosing a malignant tumor of the nail can greatly affect a patient's prognosis. 2. Infections Paronychia is a purulent collection located adjacent to the nail caused by bacteria or fungi. Treatment generally requires drainage. Simple paronychia, meaning not extending under the nail plate, do not require incision of the skin, but simply lifting the nail plate and expressing out the purulent material. Extension under the lateral or proximal nail plate requires more extensive incisions, involving removal of portions of the nail. Chronic paronychia, as seen in immunocompromised patients, requires surgical intervention. A history of herpes simplex infection or occupation involving manipulation of the mouth, such as a dental hygienist, in the presence of vesicular lesions is highly suggestive of herpetic whitlow. 3. Systemic causes of nail complaints. Splinter hemorrhages, which can be caused by local nail disorders, such as trauma and nail psoriasis, can also be suggestive of systemic illnesses, such as endocarditis and connective tissue disorders. Similarly, clubbing of nails can be seen in a variety of systemic diseases, including chronic, superative, pulmonary disease, and congenital cyanotic heart disease. Therefore, it's important to do a full history and physical in all patients who come in with a potential sign of systemic illness.